Today, today we're reading chapter 22, boys and girls. And so just so you know, chapter 21, the last thing that we read is that we were, we were seeing that Zero ended up being the kid who dug Stanley's hole while he was gone uh, in the warden's office. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. This is chapter 22. And so Stanley was the first one finished. He spat in his hole and then showered and changed into his cleaner set of clothes. It had been three days since the laundry was done, so even his clean set was dirty and smelly. Tomorrow, these would become his work clothes and his other set would be washed. He could think of no reason why Zero would dig his hole for him. Zero didn't even get any sunflower seeds. I guess he likes to dig holes, Armpit had said. Yeah, 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 he's a mole, Zigzag had said. I think he eats dirt. Uh, moles don't eat dirt, X-Ray had pointed out. Worms eat dirt. Hey, Zero, Squid asked. Are you a mole or a worm? And Zero said, Nothing. Stanley never, never even thanked him. But now he sat on his cot and waited for Zero to return from the shower room. Let's hear from our predictors. What do you predict is going to happen next? Hey, thanks, he said as Zero entered through the tent flap. And Zero glanced at him then went over to the crates where he deposited his dirty clothes and his towel. Why do you help me? Stanley asked. Zero turned around. You didn't steal the sunflower seeds, he said. Yeah, so? Neither did you, said Stanley. And Zero stared at him. His eyes seemed to expand and it was almost as if Zero was looking through him. You didn't steal the sneakers, he said. And Stanley said nothing. He watched Zero walk out of the tent. If anybody had x-ray vision, it was Zero. Wait! he called, and he hurried after him. <sighs> Zero had stopped just outside the tent, and Stanley almost ran into him. Uh, I'll try to teach you to read if you want, Stanley offered. I don't know if I know how to teach, uh, but I'm not the, I'm not that worn out today since you dug, like, a lot of my hole. A big smile spread across Zero's face. Inferences, what can you infer about the situation or about a character? So they returned to the tent, where they were less likely to be bothered. Stanley got his box of stationery and pin out of his crate, and he sat on the ground. So, um... Do you know the alphabet? Stanley asked. And for a second he thought he saw a flash of defiance in Zero's eyes. But then it passed. I think I know some of it, Zero said. A, B, C, D. Yeah, keep going, said Stanley. Zero's eyes looked upward. E. Word wizards. On the bottom of page 26, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on page 96, you see the word defiance, where it says for a second. Can you please read the sentence before, which is the do you know the alphabet, within the word defiance and after? And the second person is going to look for clues. And then the third person is going to tell me what they think defiance meant. Because it says for a brief second. F, said Stanley. 
uh, G said zero. He blew some air out of the side of his mouth. H I K P H I J K L Stanley said. That's right, said Zero. I've heard it before. I just don't have it memorized exactly. Ah, oh, that's all right, said Stanley. Here, I'll, I'll say the whole thing just to kind of like refresh your memory, then you can try it. He recited the alphabet for Zero, and Zero repeated it without a single mistake. Hey, not bad for a kid who never, who's never seen Sesame Street. Well, I've heard it before somewhere, Zero said, trying to act like if it was nothing, but the smile gave him away. So the next step was harder. Stanley had to figure out how to teach him to recognize each letter. He gave Zero a piece of paper and took a piece for himself. Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll start with A? He printed a capital A and then Zero copied it on the sheet of paper. The paper wasn't lined, which made it more difficult. Oh, huh. But Zero's A wasn't bad, just a little big. Stanley told him he needed to write smaller or else they'd run out of paper real quick. And so Zero printed it smaller. Actually, there are two ways to write each letter, Stanley said, as he realized this was going to be even harder than he thought. Uh, that's a capital A, but you'll see a small a. You only have capitals at the beginning of a word, and only if it starts in the start of a sentence, or like if it's like a proper noun, like a name. Connectors, let's hear from you. Connection to a book, connection to the news, connection to your life. Zero nodded as if he understood, or if, as if he understands. But Stanley knew he had made very little sense. He printed a lowercase a and Zero copied it. So there are 52, said Zero. Stanley didn't know what he was talking about. Instead of 26 letters, they're really 52. Stanley looked at him surprised. I guess that's right. H how'd you figure that out? He said. Zero said nothing. Did you add? Zero said nothing. Did you multiply? That's just how many they are, said Zero. Stanley raised and lowered one shoulder. He didn't even know how Zero knew that there was 26 in the first place. Did he count them as he recited them? He had Zero write a few more uppercase and like lowercase a's and then he moved on to capital B. This is going to take a long time, he realized. Uh, you can teach me like 10 letters a day, Zero suggested Zero. Five capitals and five smalls. And after five days, I'll know them all. Except on the last day, I'll have to do 12. Six capitals and six smalls. Again, Stanley started him. He's amazed that he was able to figure all that out. Zero must have thought he was staring for a different reason because he said, I'll, I'll, I'll dig, I'll dig part of your hole every day. I, um, I can dig for about an hour, then you can teach me for an hour. And since I'm like faster digger anyway, our holes will get done about the same time. I won't have to, I won't have to wait on you. Questioners, prepare a good question, a good thick question to ask the class. Okay, Stanley agreed. As Zero was printing his bees, Stanley asked him how he figured out it would take five days. 
Did you multiply? Did you divide? That's just what it is, Zero said. <laughs> Some good math, said Stanley. Hey, I'm not stupid, Zero said. I know everybody thinks I am. I just don't like answering their questions. And later that night, as he lay on his cot, Stanley reconsidered the deal he had made with Zero. Getting a break every day would be a relief, but he knew X-Ray wouldn't like it. He wondered if there might be some way Zero could agree to dig part of X-Ray's hole as well. Huh, but then again, why should he? I'm the one teaching Zero. I need a break so that I have the energy to teach him. I'm the one who took the blame for the sunflower seeds. I'm the one who Mr. Sir is mad at. So he closed his eyes and images from the warden's cabin floated inside his head. Ah, ah, ah. Her red fingernails. Mr. Sir writhing on the floor. Ah. Her flowered makeup kit. He opened his eyes. He suddenly realized where he had seen the gold too before. He'd seen it in his mother's bathroom and he seen it again in the warden's cabin. It was half of a lipstick container. K K B. Okay guys, so what were the main summarizers? What were the main uh, main uh, ideas of this chapter, right? So let's go ahead and try it out. Beginning, middle, and end. So if you look about it, what are the, the main concepts that make up this chapter? That without it, it, you miss something major. So in the beginning, you want to realize that uh, Stanley decides to offer uh, zero to, I'm sorry, Stanley helps them uh, to read or offers to help, right? And so that is the main thing. Um, so in return, because zero had dug his hole, he felt kind of bad, right? So in the middle, also very exciting that you would realize that uh, even though um, Zero doesn't know how to read, he's really, really smart. And so that's another big thing. Uh, and lastly, you realize that uh, Stanley is sleeping. And while he's sleeping, he realizes that he knows very well what KB stands for, that golden tube that was found. So those are three main things that you probably should have gotten. All right, we'll see you next time. Awesome job, fourth grade.